What is melodic death metal? I thought I'd do a few videos on the melodic metal genres. These being melodic death metal, melodic metalcore, and melodic black metal. And I'm sure that there are others. Someone in the comments will no doubt point out that I am neglecting to mention melodic crust punk or something like that. However, these are the three main styles of melodic metal. And these three styles are some of my absolute favorites. And there's a lot of misconceptions about them, so I might as well attempt to clarify that. All three of these styles were prominent in the early 2000s, although melodic death metal was common even in the 90s. What differentiates melodic death metal from old school death metal is, as you can guess it, melody. But it's not so simple. There were two main types of old school death metal. The American style and the Swedish style. American death metal is very thrash metal influenced. These Florida death metal acts are focused mostly on speedy riffs, though occasionally linger on some slower passages that are a bit reminiscent of doom metal. They are basically Slayer, but a bit more intense. Swedish death metal has a bit more to it than that. It's hard to explain, but it has a sound that is distinct from American death metal, although not quite enough to make it its own different subgenre. This extra flair and distinct personality of Swedish death metal ultimately led to both death and roll. as well as melodic death metal. Melodic death metal originated in Gothenburg, Sweden, with the big three of the sound being In Flames, Dark Tranquility, and At The Gates. This melodic death metal sound is unique from the Swedish death metal bands such as Entombed and Dismember, not only because of the extra guitar melody, but for putting more emphasis on the vocals and not being afraid to delve into softer territory. Whereas old school death metal aims to be an imposing wall of sound with a haunting aura, Melodic death metal, however, also tries to have some beauty in the mix. It's rare for old school death metal to incorporate clean guitars, but it is abundant in melodic death metal. This difference in sound also translates to the overall aesthetics of each genre. Even by just the album covers alone, you can usually tell the genres apart. Typically, old school death metal album covers are very spoopy looking, whereas melodic death metal ones are much prettier. Lyrically, they are also distinct. Old school death metal has what is stereotypically expected of death metal. Blood, gore, psychological horror, existential angst, and is also blasphemous towards religion. <laughs> Melodic death metal, on the other hand, is less violent. It is not as reliant on shock value and trying to be spoopy. Melodic death metal, instead, is much more poetic and romantic. Its lyrical themes are more abstract and often about the struggle of the individual. In other words, if you want to piss off your parents, you throw on some Cannibal Corpse or other OSDM. However, if you want something more introspective, you listen to the Jester Race or other Mellow Death as such. I should also mention that melodic death metal takes some inspiration from power metal and the classic heavy metal sound. Iron Maiden, in particular, springs to mind when it comes to the melodies present. 
And not just sound-wise, but even thematically, melodic death metal has some similarities with power metal. I mentioned in my Epic Doom Metal video that Epic Doom has a pre-modern theme to it. And this theme is also somewhat present in melodic death metal, although it is a little bit more subdued. Some other notable melodic death metal bands, besides the big three, are Arch Enemy, Carcass, especially on their record, Heartwork, and Night Rage. Of course, many melodic death metal bands blend in some other styles, such as Eluvueti, who combine it with folk metal and alternative metal. And the Black Dahlia Murder, who blend it with old school death metal and deathcore. Please don't murder me. There are also plenty of bands who mix it with the other two styles of melodic metal, those being melodic metalcore and melodic black metal, so stay tuned for those installments. If you think I missed your favorite band, chances are I will get to it in one of those two videos. I think what I enjoy most about this genre, besides it combining the brutality of death metal with the elegance of melodies, is just how versatile it is. Often influenced by gothic metal or progressive metal, it can go from bellowing growls to some ambient instrumental seamlessly. And despite the fact that it is considered the beginner's metal genre in some sense, it is still one of my favorites. There are heavier styles for sure, but melodic death metal is just damn good music. It defines the essence of what metal is. The will to power, the perseverance against adversity, the romanticized battle of existence. Now because it is so definitively metal, it may seem like a mid-genre to some, but I love it and always come back to it. Our acculturation continues as we explore Metals, overcomplicated genres. Mm -hmm.